This past April, Mitch Blake and I collected wild turkey eggs. Uh, so we collected over 130 wild turkey eggs throughout the entire state of Pennsylvania, thanks to efforts from folks that were in the field. So when people found eggs, either agency folks or hunters found eggs during the month of April, and we went out and collected them. The reason why we collected wild turkey eggs was because during the year 2000, there was a study conducted that found that domestic turkey poults were not susceptible to West Nile virus. But then the recent study that we conducted on rough grouse found that rough grouse were highly susceptible to West Nile virus. We were loading up the eggs in an incubator and we'll be driving them down to the Southeastern Cooperative Wildlife Disease Study located in Athens, Georgia, where the West Nile virus research will be conducted. We have collected wild turkey eggs so we can inoculate them with West Nile virus to see if they are susceptible and understand any population effects uh, the virus might have on wild turkeys. My name is Mitchell Blake. I am the district biologist for Pennsylvania with the National Wild Turkey Federation. Oh, that's perfect. Nice. I'm Mary Jo Castellina, the wild yep. turkey biologist for the Pennsylvania Game Commission. So the question remains, are wild turkey pulps susceptible to this virus? <laughs>